Hi. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're having a good day. Um, I just wanted to say real fast, if you happen to come across the 50 Cent video about Father's Day, you know that the part where he's speaking, it's no volume. Please go over to 50's Instagram and see what he said. Um, it's nothing I've done. There's Sometimes when you download um, things, there's certain protections put on where you can't access the audio. That's happened to me before. And when I'm recording the video, I can hear it. But when I upload it, the volume um, doesn't play properly. It was too late by the time I realized it. So, again, sorry about that. But on to this story. So, Claudia Jordan, either today or in the past day or so, uh, kind of jumped on the train on the, I call it the Russell, the Russell Race Wagon, where... A man by the name of Jay Williams recently asked, is Russell Williams um, black enough for the black community? And he was saying that he's heard people say that um, Russell Wilson, because he's not hood enough, doesn't properly represent the black community. Now, I have to say to you all again, I don't recall too many people saying this. Maybe they did a couple of years ago, but recently... The more specific issue has been Russell Williams being a great stepfather. Uh, you know what? It does kind of go hand in hand, I guess, because people have called him a square and, you know, things like that. And that does imply the way they say it does imply him not being hood. Hood refers to black. And most of the time when people are speaking about something being hood. So, yes, yes, it's just it's been they have been masking it in different words. That's what's been happening. But um, Claudia was just, she was she had the opinion that I have about how stupid it is how people say black people are not a monolith, other black people, but then people want you to identify with this hood mentality when it's so many black people who don't. And I'm going to show y'all what she said in just a minute. I'm just sharing my thoughts. And if it's not interesting, but what my thoughts are, um, I'm sorry. I think my thoughts are relevant, so I'm sharing them. It's been very refreshing to get older and hear younger black kids, you know, who are adults, but I call them kids because I'm I'm older. Um, speak the way I speak. Speak the way I spoke growing up, and be comfortable. And I feel like they have to do a hood accent because they will not, so that they won't be belittled by other black people. When I grew up, I grew up in a mostly white, but my first seven years were in a place in Dallas called Oak Cliff. Very, very, it was actually multicultural, white, black, Hispanic. Then when um, our house burned down, we moved to a place called Richardson. It was a suburbs. It was uh, majority white. So you would think, oh, well, you must have experienced so much racism from white people. I, oops. Sorry about that, y'all. I, I can't, if I put my phone on airplane mode, I can't record or I can't, I can't do what I need to do properly. So sorry about any messages to slide through. But um, I experienced stuff from white people, racist stuff. I did, I, uh, but not as much as I did from black people. And I'm not calling saying black people can be racist because I know y'all just, people love to have that disagreement with you that black people can't be racist. Okay. Well, I experienced a lot of inter-prejudice with black people. I experienced a lot of torment for not fitting into the category of what black was supposed to be. I I, I grew up wearing um, combat boots and those uh, plaid shirts and listening to Metallica and Guns N' Roses, and I still do, and stuff like that. And, uh, and now so many um, young black adults and black kids listen to that now, along with... Um, is it 42 Doug, 42 Doug, Gunner, uh, whatever the little rappers are, you know, y'all know the rapper kids, um, Kodak Black, they listen to the metal and rock, whatever is considered rock along with that now. So it's a totally different world now, but growing up, um, yeah, when I experienced a lot of uh, discrimination from black people, um, Oreo, gosh, the word Oreo, Oreo, that was, that was, that was black my little black schoolmate's favorite word. I didn't even have a lot of black people I went to school with. They were like bust in or had moved from so-called hood areas like me and they just were in that mentality. 
and they were just going to keep living it. And unfortunately, almost every single one of them is has a had had a, end up with a record, works some horrible job now, just is no longer here. But that's another story. But um, yeah, I personally experienced that, and it's just like, and then the evil stuff that black people can do to each other, and then we talk about. But as long as you're black, you can do that to each other. But when white people do it, it's just the end of the world. But we do so much vicious stuff to each other when one of us doesn't fit into this um, category. And then I'm going to play what Claudia said. Let, let me go ahead and play it. But just real quick, she did say one more thing about speaking properly and how we deduce ourselves so much to nothing that speaking properly has to be associated with being white. This last thing. So many people ask me, who taught me how to speak properly? People thought because I went to a suburb, a, a, a white school, that's why I speak properly. I speak properly because I've spoken properly since I was freaking two or three years old. My mother and father taught me how to speak properly. The white school system did not teach me how to speak properly. My parents did. The white people didn't teach me. And that, that, that mentality that black people think the only way you can speak and articulate your words is because white people have to teach you. That's what the majority of black people I've come across think. And don't please don't believe or please believe it's been a few white people too. Oh, when the infamous, when a white person says, you're so well spoken, <laughs> you're getting ready to hear something really stupid. So they have, they have said plenty of stupid things to me. But the majority of it comes from black people. But anyway, let me play what Claudia said. I mean, this is a real thing. I'm saying this is from somebody who experienced it, who I really like. To, I really don't want to talk about it, though, but this is hitting close to home. Russell Wilson, to me, is a throwback to how black men used to carry themselves before we got ratchet, before we started praising uh -huh. the lowest of the low, before we started like thinking it was cool to be dumb and ignorant and and like purposely misspeaking, misspelling, sounding ignorant and dumb. Before we started praising the the the, the lowest of the low, it, 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 it reeks of low self-esteem as a culture. To say, oh, this is black if you're ignorant. But when you're not, we equate that with being white. So we're gonna give that to the white man, like they are they have the uh they have the exclusivity rights on intelligence and class. But shouldn't we be like, yo, he's with us. You ain't black enough. Because you use proper English. So we really are saying that we're not capable of, of, of elevating. But then these are the same people that want to be referred to as a king. And then you have one actually treating a woman as a queen and actually carrying himself as a king. And we're going to sit here and try to take his black card from him because he's not acting up. He's not acting up. Wilding out. Mm -hmm. It is so ridiculous. And then we say we're not a monolith. But then if you don't do these things like you said, Q, you're not one of us and you can't sit with us. Stop doing this to other black people. Stop making black people feel guilty for being classy and intelligent and carrying themselves in a way that we should all be trying to aspire to be. Mm -hmm. Like, it is ridiculous that she... The hate for Sierra is because she moved out from a future. So all these, like, future F boys that are like him, future lights, y'all feel some kind of way because I hit you in the gut because you feel that, right? You know your girl deserves better. I, I really wish we can get away from that and stop praising that. His blackness should not be in question because he's not ignorant. Mm-hmm. We should stop. We need to stop embracing that. We ain't. We ain't that. Russell Wilson to me is a throwback to how black men used to carefulness to other black people. Stop. Okay, so those were um, Claudia Jordan's thoughts. The one thing I do disagree with is Claudia Jordan saying we should all aspire to be that way. No, we should not all aspire to speak properly and carry ourselves a certain way. No, we should all be who we are. Um, a lot of people don't speak so-called speak properly and are very successful. Speaking properly doesn't equate to success. Speaking so-called ratchet doesn't equate to success. But respect people where they're at. If somebody is articulate and lives a certain lifestyle, just respect it. It's not your lifestyle. If you want to live a so-called ratchet lifestyle or speak a certain way, that's fine. Everybody just needs to respect where everybody is. Everybody needs to quit trying to make somebody be who they are because speaking properly does not equate to success because I am not successful. <laughs> I am not. It did not help me. because Well, it did help me. 
if I wanted to become successful, it would have helped me, to be honest. Let, let me not lie. But I, I chose for it not to help me because along with it so-called helping you, uh, it's a level of playing the game in certain areas and certain arenas of non-melanated arenas that I just don't want to be in at this point in life. And I'm, I'm working through some stuff right now. And that's a whole other video. But um, yeah, I'm glad she spoke on it. And, I, I, and she articulated it well. And it's, it's real sad that that's even, that it's even still a topic that we haven't evolved more that us, us people, you know, us people have not evolved more. And, but I do love seeing so many more young people have so much, um, they have, you know, they, they, they can be so-called wealth, so many more so-called well-spoken than they have the ratchet and then they, uh, they can code switch and that it's being more so-called inclusive, but we still have a, a, um, a long way to go. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for listening. If you're still here. Bye.